We begin with the latest wrangling surrounding the listing of Tokyo's wartime industrial facilities as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The listing seemed to have drawn a line under months of negotiations between Korea and Japan, but tensions remain high after Tokyo offered an ambiguous translation of its statement for its domestic audience. Now, Japanese media reported Monday that Foreign Minister Fumio Keshida said Tokyo did not acknowledge that Koreans were forced to labor at several of the sites. Keshida said the Japanese ambassador to UNESCO, Kuni Sato's statement at the World Heritage Committee meeting, which said, quote, forced to work, end quote, did not signify that Japan admitted slave laborers were used there. Now, Seoul's foreign ministry reacted quickly to refute the minister's claim, saying the English version of the statement is the one officially adopted by UNESCO's World Heritage Committee. Therefore, it is the official text, and there's no room for misinterpretation. The ministry added that Japan must submit a progress report by the end of 2017, which will be reviewed by the committee the following year. And if Japan's progress is deemed unsatisfactory, the sites could be removed from the UNESCO list.